Hey, it's Mili Lilu, better known as Lil Swastika. We are here in a very small little Thai village somewhere in the middle of Thailand. I sit here on a temple very close to the ocean and today is the day I will talk a little bit about my dreads. I got many people always asking. Here we go. Yeah, my dreads are around 15 years old. They changed a lot over that long time because when I was young, I had more hair, I had more sick hair. But the older you get, the less hair you get. So at some stage I had to, to cut off my long dreads in the front because it was looking just silly. Because you see everywhere my skin. And then I had many years, I had them shaved in the front. But no, I start growing like little dreads here, just because I don't like normal hair and I don't like to shave much more anymore. Yeah, for me, dreads are a philosophy of life, kind of. It sounds silly, but when I was very young, there was, it was not like today, like everybody have dreads and tattoos and it was cool and it was mainstream. Back then, it was more different. It was more like a little statement, maybe. It was for me to have something with my hair who is not the norm who shows that I want to live on the edge of society, that I don't want to be part, that I don't want to have a normal job, that I don't want to have a normal life. That is what dreads was meaning to me. For me, getting dreads is not so much different than getting a tattoo. You make this once and you just keep it. It's like not just have it for one summer, cut it off or change the job and cut it off. Same like with tattoos, you know, some people get tattooed and they cover it or they laser it. It's all bullshit. Or they get like big earlobes and they just sew it together and have a normal life. For me, there is no normal life. So within my dreads, there's like a lot of memories. There's like 15 years of living life the fullest I can. And sure, it's a big burden to have that heavy weight on the head and have to bother with it and you sleep and they there and you drive and they somewhere on that side and it's very annoying in one, one way but they are part of me and you just don't can remove a part of yourself well, you can but you have to want it yeah i think today dreadlocks are mainstream I think today it's very unpersonal to get dreadlocks. You can just buy it in the internet. It's very normal that people just like get extensions, get fake hair, get shit like this, you know? That they buy fake dreadlock extensions from China with a label from some super dread manufactory. And this is so wrong. This is the same as tattooing. It's it's such a personal thing. You normally when I when I was making dreadlocks to someone, I believed he will have a better life with he have a more open and more free life and have something where he he look in a mirror, he see and he get he get reminded every day that he won't have an alternative life, that he won't have a different life. But this day, it looks cool. So people, they get it and two years later they cut it off because something else looks cool. And this is wrong because this is against every philosophy of dreadlocks in my eyes. I know I'm just an old guy <laughs> crying about the old times, 
but yeah this is how I grow up this is what I seen and experienced and what I see these days and it makes me very sad because a lot of the things was once meaning me a lot was once give me a lot of strength to have a different kind of life they are no completely worthless if it's dreadlocks if it's people getting their hands or neck tattooed all these kind of things they are completely meaningless these days We're at the beach now and this uh, one time a year, the winter time when we're in Asia, this is roughly the time when I take a little bit care of my hair because the rest of the year I give a crap and now it's time to take care of them. I will show you a little bit what I do. I think it's 10 years ago when I washed my hair. When I go in the shower and I take um, hair shampoo or something and I wash them. In the time, sure, sometimes they get wet when I go in the ocean. Sometimes when I jump from some cliffs or when I jump in a pool. But when I normally go in a pool or take a shower, I try to not get them wet because it's very hard to dry them. They take like days to re be really proper dry and they smell. They do not stink. They smell like beautiful roses. And you don't have to wash them. Because when you wash them, then they start stinking. Hey, don't get distracted. But first, I think we go for a swim because it's very hot here. Very hot here. I think the first time I let my hair grow I was around 15 and as there was long enough for dreads I just found no one who could make dreads. I seen very very few older people with dreads when I was at a concert somewhere but I was way too shy to ask them oh to get dreads or where I get them so I just let them grow and back then I believed you just go somewhere and they like burn it together or something. So. When my hair was long enough, I go to a lot of hairdressers and they all had absolutely no glue. So yeah, at some stage I had to cut them again. And a few years later, I was around 18. I had grown my hair again and then I found some websites in the internet. Back the days when you had to plug in your 56K modem in the telephone line and then you go on some home pages and you find like how to do dreadlocks yourself and that's how I got dreadlocks myself. Yeah because my dreads are very old and they are very hard. The only thing what I can do is putting a needle and thread and kind of on the parts where they are very weak. I can try to smash them a little bit together. The other thing is where you maybe see here before this was like six or seven dreads. So I put them together to one big one because the small ones they break more easy. 
but yeah, so here you see you the very nice so thick, but where I have to put them together, it's like it's the thread is not holding so good, so like they they go flat and they rip apart, so I will just stitch it together. So I hope that's enough, that was all we got here in the supermarket because obvious the tie not go too crazy with coloring the hair blonde and instead of brown I found this so it will get pink, we will see. So I think I got much pinker than I expected. <laughs> I hope this uh, will stay not so bright, but we will see. But I do love surprises, so I will be happy with whatever I will look like. Yeah, and because I don't wash my hair, we go now in the ocean and let do the nature his job. So yeah, this episode was a little bit weird, but sometimes weird stuff happen in life and so in my. Yeah, this actually took me a few days. It was quite painful, especially to make all the roots and repair all the roots, stitch all that together. But I survived like I always do. And I normally don't do much with my hair, but I think they know strength enough to survive another year on my head. And I would be happy with. When you like me to make more clips like this, just like and subscribe. When not, fuck you anyway. And see you next time. <laughs>